Contact the world's rank number one taking on Kenwin Jong, who is now a top 10 player. That's right. She's number seven on tour. If the WTA final started today, she would be there, ladies and gentlemen. However, I did a video on the race to the finals. Go watch that video. Can Queen win? Hold on is the question. Now, she finds herself here after a tough first round matchup with Ne Hubinu. That went three sets. She got through Patapova pretty easily, but Iga's fiance, guys, she's always so difficult to play against. She's fast. She's strong. She's athletic. And listen, guys, that quick strike forehand puts pressure on anyone. It puts opponents on the back foot. And I've said for a while now, Queen Wynn is very, she's a very good server. She can hold serve, but she struggles with her defense and returning. And right now she is struggling as Iga Fiontech cruises to a first set victory. Let's take a look how Iga did it. 71% of her first serves in serving very well. I'm pleased to see that number as long as it's not around 59, 58%, what she averages for the elite events, you know, the slams and the masters, then I'm pretty happy. 71% is amazing. She won nearly 80% of those first serves, 12 winners. She's not really playing that aggressive. I do think she has knee pain. Uh, we'll talk about that a little bit more. But listen, guys, at the net, five for five, that's amazing. And that's where you want to get Queen Wynn off of that baseline. Queen Wynn's such an amazing baseliner. And listen, guys, the question is, can Iga Fiontech win this tournament? If you follow the channel, if you check out the community, I told you where to go last tournament. I told you where to go this tournament, ladies and gentlemen. Because Iga, she's never won this tournament, ladies and gentlemen. Now, let's take a look a couple years ago where she ran into a red hot Asta, big mama, who took her out, and she would go on to win it, beating Veronica Kudamatova last year as a 5-1 to one underdog. I told you to take who? That's right. I told you to take Barbora Kachikova to defeat Iga Fiontek in that championship match. Now, Iga did have a good run. She took out Layla Fernandez. Of course, we saw Karolina Pliskova withdraw from that match what's new right she didn't want to face Iga again she beat Coco but she would lose to Barbora after she also took out Ludmilla but she would lose to Barbora in straight sets this will be the first time she's won this tournament if she can win it she is now guaranteed a spot in the semifinal. and listen guys 14 and 1 on the year 69 wins last year 70 this year but can the knee hold up we'll talk about that later tennis in a minute we'll be right